think y'all are doing. I don't know if you can hear me over airplane or not. There you go. My house here in town is close to one airport. My farm in another county is close to another. Gum can't get away from it. Anyway, I just thought we'd have us another Saturday afternoon coffee chat. Oh my goodness. I'm already up to 3,658. In fact, 3768. I don't know. Way up 3868. Whole bunch. Yeah, I'm at like 3868 subscribers. My goodness, just over another hundred. We're gonna have us another drawing. And hell, that probably be in about five days. Bless y'all's heart the way y'all been helping me out. Well, I just wanted to touch on a few things. Lord have mercy. You talk about some people getting fired up on me. God. Now, first of all, I don't I don't care what color your skin is, all right? I don't care. We all in this world together. And we all leave in the same way, naked and dead. Okay? And uh, if we can't take a damn thing with us, and you might as well get along, all right? I mean, that's just the way it is. You might as well just get along because the ink, you know, what, you, what choice you got. But I'm going to tell you what. I ain't got no use for... That's right. I said I ain't got no use for... I didn't say black people. I didn't say... I didn't say Pakistanis. I didn't say Afro-Americans. I said, and there's white men. And I ain't got a bit of use in the world for them. You know, whenever, whenever someone goes to leave me a message on my video, and and uh, they be they be saying this and they be saying that, and you know, I be disagreeing with what you be saying. You know. And then they totally misquote me and say, I'd be asking some of my friends about what you'd be saying. And they say, you know, that's wrong. And, 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 and you you wrong and all this. And I'm like, I didn't say that, you know. And whenever I read enough to realize that they don't know what the hell they're talking about, you know, I just delete that comment. But, you know, I uh, I've gotten into some very good conversations with people of uh, skin color different than mine and uh, been able to talk intelligently and, and discuss our feelings and, and go on with no hard feelings at all, you know, and understand one another and, and uh, you know, just been fine. But it's, it's a shame because you can tell when you're dealing with someone that's uneducated. Uh, number one, they can't spell. They don't know what commas and periods are used for. And they don't know to hit a couple of spaces after a period. They don't know to capitalize the first letter of a sentence. And uh, you, you can just tell whenever, whenever they don't have an education. So obviously, if they don't have a good enough education to be able to write and express their opinion in a, in a coherent manner, then they probably haven't been able to to uh, need that. They probably haven't been able to comprehend what they heard you say, you know? But I can tell you that that truck is white. And then somebody's saying, what? What's the matter? Well, why, why, why does the truck have to be white? Come on, give me a fucking break. Anyway, enough of that. Well, it looks like this root beer chat is going to be all chopped up, moved around, all kinds of stuff. I got on a roll. Called some dodo heads. Left some hate mail in my messages. They were 
uneducated people that couldn't spell properly, punctuate their sentences properly, couldn't speak proper English. And I, I started calling them what I thought they were, the most appropriate word. But then I realized that Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube will probably ban my video because they consider it hate speech. So I just, I just let it go. Anyway, uh, just want to tell you that uh, it's been interesting. <laughs> it's been very interesting this past few days here in Tennessee. My Lord, it's been hot. They set a record today. They're going to set a record tomorrow. We're like 15, 16 degrees above normal. And I just can't believe it. And uh, so I went to the farm early this morning, took care of the chickens and all that, and I got back home here before noon and was watching Fox News. And uh, they showed an entire speech that uh, Donald Trump did at one of his rallies. And turnabout's fair play, they showed, they just finished showing Hillary Clinton on a complete speech of hers in Daytona Beach. And when you don't like a candidate, it is so hard to sit there and listen to them. But I didn't feel like I could be fair in my, fair in my uh, opinion that I share with you if I didn't sit, sit through it and listen to it. Now, one thing that, that uh, I have to, I need a little help identifying with is how different people live. Uh, I've been chatting with a couple of couple of my uh, well, a couple of uh, guys that I sent mugs to. You know, the, I like doing it cheap mugs. And one individual lives out in the country, got a big yard, and all that. Got a shop building out back. Another individual lives in a in a very close. Uh, I don't want to say downtown area. It's just uh, where well, the houses are really, really tight. You know, tight together. Maybe five or six feet between them. I was telling him, I said, "My God, it wouldn't do for me to live there. Damn neighbors would be calling the police. They'd be able to hear me fart." So I'm amazed by the variety of people that enjoy my channel. And it's humbling, it really is. I've, uh, I've gone on Google Maps and I've seen where some of the people overseas live. And I see their homes. And, uh, you know, I, I was raised in Middle Tennessee. And I've always, live somewhere we had to mow the yard you know with something and I'm talking about something besides a little electric lawnmower little weed eater I'm talking about you know we need to ride lawnmower or something to mow the yard so it's been a I, I never could really identify with the people that live for example uh, I've got a very good friend that lives in Baltimore and lives in what they call row houses and the houses basically are two-story houses, but they all touch one another. You know, they're they're all in a row there, but they all touch one another. There's no alleyway in between them. And uh, like a condo or townhouse or whatever, they call them row houses. And that's just, you know, that's that was very strange for me to see that. And you step outside your front porch, you walk down the sidewalk to the corner market. You know, on your block, uh, and I experienced that in London, England, and uh, I've seen it in uh, in uh, Mexico. You know, but it's uh, it's just interesting. 
you know, like, you, you see some of the guys wearing my t-shirts, you know, on my videos, see some of them sitting outside in the wide open spaces, and then some people you see their, the shot is from indoors. And I'm, and I, I've, I've got people that are uh, going out there like Idaho Hillbilly. You know, he's out there every day hustling and trying to build up his little homestead. And we've got people full of vim and vigor. And then we've got uh, people that are disabled, confined to a wheelchair, or confined to a bed. And I, every one of you, I appreciate you so much. Uh, and it, it's, like I said, it's humbling that I'm part of your day. And I'm going to have to keep that in mind as I'm doing my video so I don't talk about people in a disparaging way, no matter how much it pissed me off. <laughs> that don't mean I'm going to be politically correct now, but I have got to make, I got to make sure that I don't get accused of promoting vitriol and hate speech. Got enough of that in politics, ain't we? Oh, Lord. Anyway. What what I was trying to say is we're all different and it is so hard for me to understand how someone would want to support the candidate that I don't support. Uh I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a mystery. Y'all know I'm, I'm pro-Trump. I think uh, Donald Trump would make a better president than Hillary Clinton. And I'm all for him getting in there because we've had 200 and something years of politicians. Let's get somebody in there that's not a damn politician. See if we can't do a little better. And, uh, I mean, how much how many scandals and how many laws and rules have got to be broken and how many lies have to be told before some people say, well, I can't vote for Hillary Clinton. But they still do. The, is the free Obama telephone and the free rent and the free groceries and the free utilities and the free medical care is it worth it? I guess it is. That's pretty much the keeping you up. It's just, uh, you know, I know there's people out there that, that aren't living off the system that are voting for Hillary Clinton. But my God, I can't see why. I guess it's just because you don't care for Trump. And I understand, you know, you holding your nose when you go vote. And you think that she, maybe maybe you think she is the lesser of the two evils, where I think Donald Trump is the lesser of the two evils. What? But that's the neat thing about this country is we can disagree with one another in a civil manner. You know, I don't want nobody, you know, sending me a, a comment and cursing me up one side and down the other because I I uh, I want to vote for Donald Trump. Because I'm not cursing you up one side down the other because you want to vote for Hillary. But I will tell you, there's probably only about out of the out of the out of the out of the come on now. Three thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight subscribers. I bet you there's only three of you out there that support Hillary. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> That's one thing about if you want to if you want to uh, see some action, all you got to do is express an opinion and put it online. Oh my God! All you got to do is express an opinion. Put it, put put your opinion on Facebook. Boom! It blows up. I state my opinion here on YouTube. Boom! <laughs> Anyway, uh, I believe that when I was recording the other part that I've already talked about things, things that were coming up, and uh, uh, 
I'll uh, cut out of this section now because uh, I'm, like I said, I got all fired up about them uh, people. It's a nice way of saying what I'm thinking. But like I said, I had to redo a part where I was talking about those people. So let's switch you over now to where I was outside again. All right. Bye. I want to tell y'all some uh, uh, good stuff that's coming up, but you know, I'm always telling you, you know that I've got my t-shirts for sale and I've got my decals and you saw me do uh, you saw me do the etched glass on the mug, so you know I do that. And uh, I do vinyl lettering and make all kinds of signs, but one sign that I don't do, I used to, but I don't, and uh, uh, it's a very effective and very pretty sign is one that was sent to me as a gift from one of my subscribers. John Larch is the uh, owner operator of Lazy J Signs in Elk View, West by God, Virginia. And he's on Facebook as Lazy J Signs. Lazy and the letter J. Lazy J Science. And here's what he just sent me. And it is so nice. It's on a piece of eastern red cedar, like the wood that I cut off my farm. And it is so nice. He, he, uh, he uses a router and he does it freehand. So he doesn't have a, 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 a pattern to hold him in line and all that kind of stuff. And he guides. So everything he does is one of a kind. And it's even got holes for the nail heads and the hangers. Man, I really like that, John. I really appreciate you sending that to me. And like I say, no good deed ever goes unpunished. And don't tell them what might show up in your mailbox. And uh, them two mugs that I had, I've already sent them to a couple of fellers. But uh, I haven't forgotten those of you that have been nice and sent me a little thing here or there. Uh, I'm waiting on one old boy. He, you know, give me a pocket knife. He's in the process of moving. And I'm waiting until he gets all moved, so I'm sending him something. Ain't nothing like having to pack extra shit. Uh, well, let me tell you about a damn dog. There's a darn dog from a neighbor's house two doors down. Pretty dog. He's red. And he's got a gray eye and a blue eye. Weird to look at, but it's a pretty dog. But that son of a bitch. I'll be sitting here at night when we got these nice cool evenings and I'll leave my door wide open and I'm in there in a recliner watching TV enjoying this nice cool night air and that damn dog when a neighbor lets him out he comes here and stands right there in my doorway barking and growling at me now if we was out in the country I might have handled it a little different but instead, I got up, got me, got me some shoes on, and went over to the neighbors and told them about his dog. And it happened a second time. And I told him, I said, I don't like to call animal control. If it happens again, I don't know if I got much choice. You need to keep this dog up. It happened a third time. I told him. I said, I thought you was gonna get rid of this dog. I'm so sorry it won't happen again. I come home last night. I pull up in my driveway and this guy's dog is standing at my doorway barking again and there ain't nobody in the damn house. I've got my dogs in the truck with me and this damn dog is standing there barking and I'm like, you son of a bitch. So I went over to the neighbor and I told him again. I said, you're lucky. It's five o'clock on a Friday evening. The dog catcher done quit for the week. I said, so I ain't gonna bother calling him on Monday because it's, you know by that time everything's calmed down. I said, I've had it. I ain't putting up the shit no more. Oh, I won't let him out. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? 
don't want to kill a man's dog. You know, that's just, that ain't nice. And I don't want to beat it so I can't catch it. But what do you do? And I, you know, I hear people, with they, they poison other people's dog, put out, put out a, a antifreeze and stuff like that. That's nothing but cruel. I'd never do that. I'm sure I'm pissed off this damn dog. Maybe I'll give me a slingshot with some marbles. That ought to that ought to work. I'll give him a good thumping. I don't know. I, I I look forward to any suggestions you may have. Let me know what you do. The neighbor's dog keeps bothering you. Your house. Maybe maybe they give the neighbor a good thumping. <laughs> anyway. I want you to look up old Lazy J signs, and if you're in the market for a beautiful sign, you know, he'll make you one and send it to you, and uh, that's one thing I like about what, about doing this, uh, about doing this uh, YouTube stuff, is you meet so many people, and some people are really nice, and some people are assholes, you can always delete them, or just don't watch them no more, but, uh, you know, we need to stick together in this whole world. So if you know of anybody that's looking for a nice sign, or maybe you might want to get them something as a gift. That sure would be nice, you know. You could uh, have them make it, you know, for, you know, Paul Paul's house or, or uh, uh, you know, Grandma's kitchen, just whatever. And you, you'll see some examples of his work on his on his uh, uh, Facebook page. Lazy J Signs, John Larch. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, I ain't believing this weather. It's going to be 86 degrees today in Middle Tennessee, and it ought to be 70. We're talking 15 degrees above normal, man. Whew. We're setting a record today and set a record tomorrow. It's just, hell, I went and fed the chickens, turn around, come back home. I'm just going to take it easy today and uh, watch a little YouTube and I learn something. Yeah, I've, I've got a whole bunch of chainsaws and weed eaters and lawnmowers i got to get, get fixed. Well, I've run my mouth long enough. I just wanted to touch base with y'all and tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And like I said, we. As soon as we hit 4,000, we're going to have us another drawing that day. It's going to be pretty quick. Uh, if you got an idea for a video you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, one old boy asked, would I show him how to how to upload a video to uh, YouTube, you know. Maybe he, he'd like to get into it. He's disabled. And it might be one way for him to have a little income. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to probably do that. But I warn you ahead of time, it's going to be a boring, long, draw out video because there's so many steps to it, just like doing that, uh, doing that etch class mode. But if it's something you're interested in, you know, it takes time to learn. Well, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap.